Hello everyone, I hope you have done the paper too very well. Honestly, that's a very decent paper. We are going to review the paper in few minutes, but first of all, thank you so much for the students who came to our live streaming session on the 5th June 2019. We have discussed many topics and questions. Hope that helps for your yesterday's exam. We are going to do another live streaming session on the 10th of June at 7 p.m for your third paper which is scheduled to happen on 11th june now let's look at the gcse 2019 paper 2. question number 11 the group frequency table is given and they ask you to complete the cumulative frequency table so all what you want to do is you add 5, 5 plus 30 is 35, 35 plus 20 is 55, 55 plus 15 is 70, 70 plus 8 is 78, 78 plus 2 is 80. On the grid, draw the cumulative frequency graph for this information. So all what you want to do is you pair them up 25, put across 40, 35, 40, 35, put across 60, 55, 60, 55, 70, 70, and 178 um, and finally 120 80 you draw a smooth curve my graph is not that um, smooth enough so you need to do a nice one um, use your graph to estimate the percentage of these workers who take more than 90 minutes to get to work 90 minutes mean you draw a vertical line 90 minutes comes to 75 so the difference between 80 to 75 is 5 so 5 people took more than 90 minutes so 5 over 80 times 100 you get the answer 6.25 is the answer question number 12 OAB is a sector of a circle with a radius 7 cm the area of the sector is 40 cm uh, squared calculate the perimeter of the sector give your answer to the correct to three significant figures so sector area equal theta over 360 times pi r square so 40 over 1 equal theta over 360 times pi 7 square so you rearrange the formula make the theta as a subject so the theta is the angle between the two radii and once you find out the theta arc length is going to be the theta over 360 times 2 pi r so whatever you find the answer 93 keep that in the answer in the calculator then press the answer button divide by 360 times 2 times pi times 7 that gives the arc length a b add that with 7 plus 7 because it's a perimeter finally the answer is 25.4 that is the answer for question number 12. Question number 13 is algebraic fraction. So the difficulty here is just to see the, see the question is very hard by looking up, look, look at the questions from starting from 6 until this fraction here. So if you cut this into a small parts, first factorize the x squared plus 3x minus 10. That easily come up as x plus 5, x minus 2. Then division turn into a multiplication. When you divide, change to multiplication, you flip. So x minus 1 goes up, x plus 5, x minus 2 come down. Then multiplication, x plus 5, x plus 5 cancelled. Then 6 plus x minus 1 over x, plus, x minus 2. So 6 over 1 is there. Then you do the LCM. Um, you times both by, so cross multiply basically. 6 times x is 6 brackets x minus 2 1 brackets x minus 1 over x minus 2 expand the bracket 6 x minus 12 x minus 1 7 x minus 13 over x minus 2 is the answer so you write it down the all the a b c d numbers question number 14 a car moves from rest the graph gives the information about the speed v meters per second of the car t seconds after it starts to move Calculate an estimate of the gradient of the graph at t equal 15. All what you want to do is draw a t equal 15, a gradient. Here, I draw a blue color right angle triangle. So once you find out the right angle triangle, you need to find out the rise over run. Divide the rise, divide by run. That is the gradient. 
So the rise is 22, take away 6.5, which is 15.5. The run is 0 to 20 is 20. So that is the answer for the gradient. Describe what is your answer in the part 1 represent acceleration of the car at 15th second. Um, part B, work out an estimate for the distance the car travels in the first 20 seconds of the journey. So the first 20 seconds of the journey means you divide the section into four parts. So in the four parts, one first one is triangle, second one is trapezium, again trapezium, again trapezium. So you find the individual uh, area. Um, so the area under the graph is uh, gives the distance travel. So you find the area and find out the distance. The answer is 220 meter. Question number 15. Make m as a subject. Cross multiply and f times m is fm minus f and bring every m to one side. So fm minus 3m. Factorize the m. So f minus 3 equal f plus 4. Then f plus 4 divide by f, f minus 3 is the answer. Question number 16, the straight line L has an equation 3y equal 4x plus 7. A point is given. They are asking the equation of the line perpendicular to the L. So first of all, find the gradient, which is the 4 upon 3. Perpendicular gradient is minus 3 upon 4. Then the point is 3 comma minus 5. You can write the straight line equation y equal 3x plus 3, uh, c. And then substitute minus 5 and the gradient is minus 3 upon 4 times 3, then plus C. Then you simplify the equation, you get the answer C equal minus 11 upon 4. So you can leave the equation as Y equal minus 3 upon 4, X minus 11 upon 4. You can leave it like that. Question number 17, there are some small cubes and some large cubes in a bag. The cubes are red or cubes are yellow. The ratio of the small cubes to the ratio of the large cube is 4 is to 7. So basically small cubes to large cubes is 4 is to 7. So if you put that in a fraction 4 over 11 means 7 plus 4 is 11 and large cube is 7 over 11. So the total has to be multiple of 11. So whatever the bottom number has to be, so if the total is 22, so 22 divided by 11 is 2. So it can be 44. It can be 11th multiple. Then the next question, the ratio of the number of the cubes uh, to the uh, red cubes to yellow cube is 3 is to 5. So red is to y is 3 is to 5 means the fraction of the red is 3 is to 3 over 8 because 5 plus 3 is 8. Yellow is 5 over 8. So the total also has to be the multiple of 8, bottom number 8. So the total number has to be 8, 16, 24, 32, something like that. So we need to find out the common de denominator, lowest common denominator between 11 and 8, which is 88. So at least 88 cubes should be in the back so that 88 can be divided by 11 and divide by 8. That is the first part answer. Explain why the least possible number has to be 88. We already explained. All the small cubes are yellow. So all the small cubes are yellow mean there is no red. Right. So 88 is the minimum amount. Work out the least possible number of the yellow cubes in the back. So if 88 is the minimum, so 4 upon 11 times 88, 32 is the yellow. And large one is is going to be 88 take away 32 is 56. Out of 56, we don't know how many red. So I assume that is X. So 56 take away X is the yellow. So 56 minus X. Then you do the reach ratio equation. The total red is X. The total yellow is uh, 32 plus 56 minus X. That comes to 88 minus X. Then you do the ratio red is to 80, red is to yellow which is x over 88 minus x equal 3 upon 5. Cross multiply, you will get the answer x equal 33. x equal 33 means red is 33. You need to find out the yellow, uh, larger yellow cubes. Larger yellow cubes is 56 minus 33, which is 23 is the answer. 
Question number 18, the points A, B, C, D lie on a circle. It's a circle theorem. So I have written all the step-by-step -step process. Here they have given the two sides are equal. So this is an isosceles triangle. So 180 take away 40 is 140 divided by 2, 70, 70. So we found this angle, the base angle of the triangle. Now this is a cyclic quadrilateral. Opposite angles are add up to 180 take away 70. 110 is the C angle. Take away from 180 again, 70 divided by 2 is 35, 35. Once you find out the 35 this, the straight line angle CDE is going to be 180. So 180 take away 70, take away 35 will give this one as 75 degrees. That is the question. So that e easily you can say a straight line angle add up to 180. That is question number 18. Question number 19 is a 3D trigonometry. So the base ABCD of the prism is a square of side length 15. So this is also 15, that is also 15. So angle ABE, ABE is a right angle, right? ABE is right angle. Uh, M is the point where DM is equal to, DM is to MA equal to 2 is to 3. So this is 2 is to 3. So we need to share the 15 centimeter length into 2 is to 3. You will get 6 centimeter and 9 centimeter. So this is going to be 6 centimeter and this is going to be 9 centimeter. So I'm drawing, I'm drawing separate triangles to understand the question. So first of all, I draw this triangle ABE. So with using the 35 angle and the 15 centimeter, we can find the BE. So that is ready. That is 10.50311. Then the next one is, if you see the bottom triangle MAB, which is I drawn here, 9 is that one MA and this is 15. Use the Pythagoras theorem, you can find the MB. So MB is also found and BE also found this is the angle they are asking the theta. So that is the angle between the EM and the base. Base is the bottom one, EM is the, the line. So if you use the tan theta is opposite of adjacent, you can get the angle as 31 degrees. Question number 20, it's a vector question, right? CDEF is a quadrilateral is given. So express Fe in terms of A and B give your answer to the simplest form. So Fe means F to E here. You go all the way F to C, C to D, D to E. So you do your maths properly, algebra terms, A minus B plus A plus B minus B plus B cancel, A plus A is 2A. That is first part's answer. Second part, M is the midpoint here. Midpoint means the B vector divided into 2, half B, half B. Then X is the point FM. FM, there's a point X. The ratio is N is to 1. N is to 1. And CXE is a straight line, right? So straight line means, the theory says CXE is a straight line means the vector CX and the vector XE has the same vector component. In other words, they are A vector and B vector has to be in a ratio, right? If three points are on a straight line means the two vectors has to be have the same vector component. That's the theory we are going to be using it. So FM, FM we can say FE plus EM. FE is 2A minus B by 2 because ME is half B. If you are going against it's minus B by 2. From there, you can find the fx. fx means n is 2 total n plus 1 times 2a minus b by 2. The algebra becomes a little bit hard, but um, the theory remains same. xm is going to be 1 over n plus 1 because n plus 1 is the total share 2a minus b, 2a minus b by 2. Then cx is the vector we are going to find. Cx, we can find Cd, Dm and this one. So that is a lot of work. Here, Cf plus Fx. So that's what we are going to do. Cf plus Fx. I simplify. It takes time. You do algebraically. You can simplify. And finally, I found Cx like that. So Xc is the next one because we are going to do the ratio theorem. 
xe vector the component has to be in the ratio so xe is xm plus me xm plus me xm we already found somewhere here so you do your algebra and you found this one now we are going to write cxe it's going to be in a straight line so the vector component are going to be in the same ratio or same so the vector component means the component of the a n minus 1 over n plus 1 n minus 1 over n plus 1 divided by the vector component of the a here 2 over n plus 1 2 over n plus 1 that is divided by equal to the other vector the other vector is the b vector what is the coefficient 1 plus half n over n plus 1 divided by the xc vector n over 2 n plus 1 so if you cancel every uh, thing common one you end up with n minus 1 over 2 equal 1 plus half n over n by 2 so you cross multiply n by 2 times n is n squared over 2 minus n over 2 2 times 1 is 2 2 times half n is n you rearrange you get a quadratic equation but n is the ratio cannot be in a negative answer so the positive answer one possible n equal 4 so that is the end of the uh, GCSE 2019 paper 2. If you like our explanation and um, wish to like to see the, all the upcoming videos, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And thank you for your time to watch this video. Is your child weak in mathematics? Do you spend much time at work and struggling to find a tutor for your children? Don't worry. Because we have an ultimate solution, Smart Tutors brings you an amazing meld of mathematics coaching experience by tutors working successfully in UK for more than 12 years. Our website is an immersive learning experience that provides comprehensive, curriculum-aligned mathematics content for toddler, age 5, to teenager, age 18. Smart Tutor is a user-friendly website which enables you to download three mathematics worksheets for free. If preferred, the user can download thousands of mathematics worksheets and sample papers for the chosen age group for only £2.50 per month. Not just this, but if you wish to have private tutoring at home, and if you are living in London 20 miles radius from Heathrow Airport, you can request for private tutoring by clicking the button, and Tutor will contact the parent and arrange the class for your child at your own place. Smart Tutors also provides a facility to have tutoring via online tools. If you are interested, book your session now. You'll not need to wander for math tutors for your children anymore. Contact us today for a guaranteed 100% success.